Good morning students. Welcome to standard 1 mathematics class. Today I am going to teach you maths from your maths book active mathematics. I shall teach you chapter 10 time. Now here is a clock. It has three need hands. The thinnest one is the second hand. Okay? And the shortest is the hour hand. And the longest is the minute hand. Okay? Here are numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. The minutes between each number is 5 minutes. Okay? So, total 60 minutes will be there in the round the clock. Okay. Now, see the time here. The hour hand is on 3 and the minute hand is on 12. So, the time is 3 o'clock. Okay. Now, I am moving the minute hand round the clock. So it is now the hour hand is on 4 and the minute hand is on 12. So the time is 4 o'clock. Okay. Now again this minute hand is moving around the clock. It is moving around the clock. Now now, can you tell me the time now? The hour hand is on 6 and the minute hand is on 12. So, the time is 6 o'clock. Okay. Now, again it is moving. Now, now can you tell me the time now? The hour hand is on 7 and the minute hand is on 12. So, the time is 7 o'clock. Okay, again it is moving and it has reached on 6. Okay, now can you tell me the time? It is between 7 and 8 and the minute hand is on 6. That means 30 minutes. So the time is 7.30 or you can say half past 7. Okay, so again it has reached on 9 9 now can you tell me the time it is 7:45 the hour hand is between 7 and 8 so the time is 7:45 or you can say quarter to 8 15 minutes left to 8 so you can say quarter to 8 okay Again it is moving. Now again it has reached. See the hour hand is on 9 and the minute hand is on 12. So the time is 9 o'clock. Again it is moving. Now it is. Now what is the time? It is 10 o'clock. Our hand is on 10 and minute hand is on 12. So it is 10 o'clock. It is moving. Now can you tell me what is the time? It is between 11 and 12 and the minute hand is on 6. So it is time is 11.30. Okay. Or half past 11. Now you see. Both the hands are on 12. Our hand and minute hand is on 12. So it is 12 o'clock. Okay. Now children we will be learning about a calendar. What is a calendar students? A calendar shows the months, days and dates of a year. We have 
10 months in a year. Okay. Now here is a calendar. Now it shows the month and the days and the year. This year is 2020. Okay, here are the days of the week. Sunday, the first three letters are written here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So Sunday is the first day of the week and Saturday is the last day of the week. Okay, and this month January has how many days? It has 31 days. Okay, now next is February. February is the second month of the year and it has 29 days because 2020 is a leap year. In a leap year, February has 29 days. Otherwise, it has only 28 days. Can you say which day is 29th of February? It is Saturday. Okay. Now, next is March. Can you tell me how many days March has? It has 31 days. Okay, now next is April. April has 30 days. Can you tell me which day is 9th April? It is Thursday. Okay, now next is May. May is the 5th month of the year and it has 31 days. Can you tell me which day is 1st May? It is Friday. Next is June. June has how many days? 30 days. Okay. Now, July. July has how many days? It has 31 days. Can you tell me which day is 31st July? It is Friday. Okay. Now, next is August. August has how many days? 31 days. Children, can you tell me which day is 15th August or Independence Day? It falls on Saturday. Okay. Now, next is September. September has how many days? 30 days. Now, can you say which day is Teacher's Day? 5th September. It is Saturday. Okay. Now, next is October. October has 31 days. Can you tell me which day is 2nd October? Gandhi Jandi. It is on Friday. Okay. Next is November. It has how many days? 30 days. And 14th November is on Saturday. Children's Day falls on Saturday. Okay. And last month is December. It has how many days? 31 days. Okay. When 25th December Christmas falls on which day? Friday. Okay. Then again after December again January will come. Then again it will continue till December. And next January will be 2021. Okay. Now look at the board. And once again we can revise it. The months are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. Now January has how many days? 31 days. February has 28 or 29 days because in uh, leap year it will have 29 days. Okay. Now March 31 days. April 30 days. May 31 days. June 30 days. July 31 days. August 31 days. September 30 days. And October 31 days. November 30 days. And December 31 days. Okay. Now here. One week is equal to 7 days. And one year is equal to 52 weeks. Now one year has how many days? 365 days. And one leap year has 366 days. Okay. Now four months have 30 days. Which are four months? April, June and September and November has 30 days. Four months have 30 days. And 7 months have 31 days. Like January, March, May, July, August, October and December will have 31 days. Okay. Now February has 28 or 29 days. 
If it is leap year, it will have 29 days. Otherwise, it will have only 28 days. Okay. Now, children, worksheets related to these will be uploaded on your school website. Kindly go through them and practice. Thank you.